Yo guys, sorry you already know that today we are back with some more Raging Loop. On the last time we finally made it back into Yasumizu. The proper way, people are treating us with respect because we have been assigned to live here uh, by Higuchi family or whatever. And um, yeah, also, before I forget, I wanted to do this uh, last time. But now that we are back in Yasumizu, I feel like I should um, turn back on the other voices just in case anybody like weird shows up. You know, I don't know, it just feels like something I should do. Um, but yeah, so, let's go ahead and um, continue to re-meet everybody here and see what is going to be set up. Uh, oh, I've been waiting for you. Uh, you're Fusai, uh, Fusaishi-san, yes? And hello to you too, uh, Jose-san and Hashimoto-san. At first when I read this, I was like, how in the world do you know my name and who I am? And then I, like, remembered that there used to be, like, a working phone here and, like, they obviously would have been given the heads up that I'm, like, that they're getting a new resident because, like, he said that he was going to let us know. Or let the village know. And, um, yeah. It, but, like, because of the last time loop and so much of it went by without a way to contact the outside, I forgot that, like, hey, there used to be a way to contact the outside. Uh, which is fun. Hello. Hello, hello. Took a lot to keep myself from saying hello, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, Higuchi-san sent me here. A pleasure to meet you. Uh, Shoji Higuchi-shi had pushed me into working at the dining hall here. Not the watering hole, but dining hall. He strongly emphasized that it wasn't under his control. That was why it had been decided I meet Kaori-san. Okay. Yeah, 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 I remember that as well. She had an oval, composed, slightly haggard face, and I couldn't see a hint of the demon from before. Probably because her son's still alive. Apparently, if it was uh, for their children, some parents could become both demons and angels. I kind of felt that like that applied to the entire history of mankind, for better or for worse. My, you're well behaved for someone so young. Oh no, I'm just a failure. Oh, come now, but you're uh, sure you want to, you know? Oh wait, but are you sure you want to, you know? It's fine. Uh, many people say otherwise, but this is a nice place. It is, but I don't know if you've been told, but this dining hall is more like a ration distribution house. Ration? Ration. Ration? Ration? Am I okay? Ration. <laughs> uh, this is hard for me to say, uh, but you won't be paid. Uh, the most we can offer is meals. I don't mind. Uh, if I can live a simple life, I don't need money. My. Ha. Huh. What are you, uh, an old fart? Suddenly, Yoshitsuku or Ibekun walked through the door, displaying the same recklessness that probably gotten him killed last time. Uh, Yoshitsuku, uh, why are you not in school? Shut it, I said I ain't going. Hey, you fucking zombie. Heard you came here because you couldn't die. That's so lame. Yoshitsuku, how dare you? Oh, word spread fast around here. I mean, there's like 10 people. What do you think? Uh, they called and told Kairi-san about it, and then she told it to several other people, and it probably leaked. Yeah, I'm so lame. Well, you okay upstairs? Uh, I can't say I am. I'm an idiot. Hey, hey, don't hire this guy. He'll mess up the place. I don't want to hear that from someone who doesn't go to school or help around. Uh, shut up. Hey, you brown-haired dumbass. You seriously came here to die? Or is that an act or something? I twitched. Haha, <laughs> as if. Ha ha ha. Hey, hey, guy's weird as hell. My name isn't Hag. Ah ha 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 ha. Um, I know I have nothing to do with this, but you should keep your joking around to a minimum. Haha, <laughs> sorry. I, I just felt like we'd be living together for a long while, so I had to be as friendly as possible. Are you Shisugu Kun, was it? Wanna make a bet? Huh? What kind of bet, you coward? Um, I looked into my large bag and took something out. Specifically, a new pocket knife. Uh, use this to cut off my pinky? What? Why? Everyone instantly fell silent. I ignored them and continued. Come on, I'll put my hand down, and I'll put the knife right here. The hell'd you say? I'm saying I'll let you shorten my finger as a sign of our friendship. I'm saying that's insane. Hell, that's something you do yourself. You make me do this because you can't do it yourself, huh? You really are a coward, huh? I can do it myself, but this is a bet and a test of courage. If you're going to call me a coward, you got to show you're not one yourself, right? Swing the knife down, and you win. And if I don't back out, I win. That means uh, that if you cut off my finger, we both win. Then we'd be friends with no hassle involved. What do you think, Yoshitsugu kun I smiled and pointed at the knife on the table with my finger. The hell are you talking about? Are you nuts? That's pretty much all you're saying now, but yeah, I really am nuts. Or what, you prefer normal people? Uh, you who looks like that and gives no respect to his mother? I prefer weird people, you see? Show me how insane you can get. Can get. <laughs> Yo, this... Uh, Arawaki's become a very interesting character. <laughs> this is too much fun. If Shitsuku-kun looked right about ready to shit his pants. But it was time to back off. Gotcha. What a shame. Hi, Shitsuku-kun. I'm just kidding, I wouldn't do something that that hurt that much. Well, even if we can't get along now, we'll be friends eventually. You actually think that helps? Jokes aside, he was actually pretty sharp. He and his brother were nothing alike, but it wouldn't have been surprising if he also had a talent for seeing through people. He had Higuchi blood in his veins, after all. Perhaps it was genetic. He left without saying another word. Kari-san didn't even tell him to go to school. Uh, I'm sorry, that was weird, wasn't it? Uh, no, my stupid son had it coming. That shocked me a bit, though. You have nerve, don't you? No, I don't. I'm the one who caught it off, so I lost. He probably would have done it if, he ke if I kept pushing him. Uh, after all, he was the type who'd pick a fight with something inhuman and die. He probably didn't want to draw blood in front of his mother. I think he's a good kid at heart. 
That words almost made Kari san smile, but Oh, but I do feel embarrassed. He grew too big for me to handle, and now all I can do is scold him. She decided to keep up the act with the strict mother. Uh, puberty and rebellion sure seem complicated. Uh, Fuseishi, can come here for a sec. I did just that. Are you actually one of the, those kinds of people? Did they send someone after you? Like, would it be over if they caught you? Huh? No, I suggested the finger thing for no real reason. Trust me, I won't trouble the people here. I hope so. She was actually suspicious. suspicious. I had to act out a better normal person. This wasn't the time to mess around. Uh, anyway, I'm here to help with anything. Use me however you like. Oh, very well. This was decided by those up there anyway. But before that, I wonder where you'll be staying. Oh, I kind of expected them to already decide on that. Uh, I'm going to go introduce myself to everyone. Uh, who should I ask about that? Uh, the one in charge of the land is Yamawaki-san. Uh, the old lady from before. She lives in one of the houses we passed. Oh, yeah. When Takumi sent, uh, gave me the key to my dorm room, uh, he told me uh, he got it from the old lady. Was she like the landlord of Yasumisu? Uh, maybe she's not too far, like visiting Omatsu-san or something? Oh, did something happen? Uh, she fell and hit her head, and I, I left that talk to Mami-san and opened the door so I could see the plaza. By the time I realized that someone else was on the other side, it was fully open. Seeing the person's face almost made me say her name in surprise. Chemi Serizawa. I couldn't save her. I couldn't fulfill my promise. But we'd met again thanks to a strange looping phenomenon. Whether it was something to feel thankful about was another matter. Nice to meet you. I kept my surge of emotions under control and gave an amicable smile. But, um, just she made that simple sound. A lone tear ran down her cheek? Wait, what? Oh, do I have something in my eye? Her voice was calm. But the first tear made way for many more, and they were soon streaming from both eyes. What? Does she... Is she looping too? Or something? What? Uh, Kairi-san, do you have uh, a hand towel? Her reaction didn't seem to be anything more than confusion that her body went out of control. Or maybe she... Okay, maybe maybe it's just as simple as, like, she doesn't know why she's reacting emotionally, but, like, there's something that's, like, telling her there's a connection. Maybe that's the game's way of not having to reconnect from the beginning with Chimmy, like, every single time. It could just be that simple. Oh my, what's wrong? Here you go. Uh, I don't know. Do you have a tear gas here or something? Uh, perhaps the shishinari I'm making uh, for the journalist is rotten. Hey, I didn't mean that. Uh, what is it then? Menopause? Come now, you're too young for that. Uh, I'm sorry for acting weird. She wiped her tears. Her eyes didn't look good, but her voice was cheerful and carefree, just like in my memory. You're the person who suddenly ended up living here, right, mister? Uh, that was the word he used on strangers. Why she cried? Yes, am I that scary? No, 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 no. Uh, you look perfectly fine. It's just, well, a mysterious event. Ah, my name is Chami Serizawa. I'm a student back home for the time being. I know I've made a poor first impression, but I hope we can get along. She bowed to me. She, she really didn't know who I was. Okay, so she doesn't know who I am. Or she's just really good at lying, but I... It really seems like she doesn't know. Due to the looping phenomenon, dying had sent me back to the point when I was wandering... Uh, wandering around on my bike. It was something that actually happened, and I had to accept it. But it was also completely unreasonable. I didn't have any good way to reasonably explain it. Was the looping centered around me? Was I really the only one who had memories of last time? It, would, it wouldn't be strange for there to be someone else. My memories were fragmented right now, and I often remember things only when it counted. It could be that the others had forgotten almost everything, but still had certain fragments of their memories and feelings. Hmm. I had to stop thinking about this. I couldn't have asked her to console me uh, about the tragic event that hadn't even happened yet. Uh, I'd have been barking up the wrong tree. If everything worked out, I hoped I could get close to her again. Uh, love that depended on death, despair, and the suspension bridge effect was better off staying in the realm of fiction where it belonged. We exchanged a few words, but I didn't have much time. I had to focus on getting a place to stay. Anyway, uh, just like I said, I first went to Uematsu-san's house. Obviously, it didn't seem like there were many people inside. I hesitated for a moment, but ended up knocking. Who is it? That was Miko's voice. Could she even understand me? I'm Fusaishi from before. F Fusaishi from before, son? <laughs> No, um, I'm Haruaki Fusaishi. Is the old lady there? No. Oh, so I was off the mark. Alright, see you then. Yeah, uh, what? Oni-chan, Fus uh, Fusaki-san? Fusayaki-san? Wrong. <laughs> Please wait a moment. Oh, well, Matsu san She told me to wait, so I did. Soon enough, the door opened up. I apologize for the wait. Uh, how may I help you? I'm looking for Yamawaki-san. From how she acted, I thought she came to visit you. Uh, I haven't seen her yet. Looks like it. Uh, I'll be going then. Oh, uh, what did you need her for? Well, I'm going to live here now, but I still don't have a place. Uh, you'll live here? Yes, and I need to talk about that. Oh, what do you mean by this? But you cannot be without a place to stay. Yeah. Prepare for the feast when the evening must arrive. That made me flinch. Did it show on my face? 
The people of Fujiyoshi believe that the mist is an ill omen. If it comes, we must clean our bodies, uh, shut ourselves in, and go to sleep early. Clean, shelter, dream. That's an interesting tradition. That was what I would have thought if I didn't know about the tragedy. Um, this might be a bit presumptuous, but I do know of one empty house. Huh? She told Mako to entertain herself and took a key from her house. Instead of telling me more about it, she insisted on going outside despite my polite protests. I had no choice but to follow after. We passed the plaza and went down the hill. She tripped two times. It hurts. Looks like it. I fall and hurt my head on the regular, so I'm used to the pain. Why is that something that you just keep doing? You really shouldn't walk around in grass like uh, this in that attire. This is an Uematsu duty. It is? Uh, the spider are, are bedroom woman servants. That was a new term. Bedroom woman servants. Uh, women who serve you in the bedroom? That sure sounded sexy. And the spider was one of the guardians of Great Lord Shinai. That reminded me, Chimmy had told me that Uematsu were the family of the spider. Uh, when the power of Yomi rises from Saranaga, it is said to bring madness first and foremost. That was why the Uematsu uh, had, of old, had the role of protecting the dreams of the villagers. Mm -hmm. uh, were they like night watchmen or something? It wouldn't have been weird for a police like forced to still retain power in this day and age. But you'd fall uh, all the time at night, so you walk around during the day instead, huh? Whoa. Is she alright? Uh, by the way, do all the heads of the village have roles like that? Yes, I'm surprised you noticed. I came here through Kam Fujiyoshi, and Higuchi-san, well, he looked pretty powerful. The Higuchi family are the monkey, protectors of the watering hole's flame. Uh, there was that term again, watering hole. They used fire when it wasn't allowed, huh? Yes, we are told they uh, claimed to run a watering hole, while in actu actuality, we're teaching people to use fire. And they use this to gain influence as the source of everyone's food. Uh, what about Nasato-san's family? Uh, they're one of the head families too, aren't they? The Nasato are the crow, the Eve Eaters. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, me neither. They inspect uh, if, of course, belong to a Yomi Vito or not. They performed autopsies? That didn't seem very important. They were actually the healers. They were the only ones who could use Aconite, also known as Wolfsbane. Oh, okay. That came up because that was... I think, isn't that what uh, Kaori's knife was coated in? Uh, Nasato is the family that made medicine. Wolfsbane, the plant. There's Aconite in the food. Oh, no, that's the food. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she was poisoning the food. Yeah, 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 okay, that was true. Well, an autopsy was a medical procedure, and if they could use poisonous plants on top of it, they could have easily garnered lots of respect. I see. What was the last one? Uh, the Migorama. Right, I hadn't met a single person linked to that one. The Snake or the Tower Lookouts? The Uematsu aren't the Lookout family. That doesn't give me enough. Uh, tower is in Watchtower. So they're in charge of the military here? No, they used to build Watchtowers and watch the stars. They made calendars, read the weather, and led the local farms. Uh, that role made them respected, and they eventually became Shinai-sama's priests. I see. We had our TV weather ladies now, but back in the day, astronomy and meteorology were linked to divination, leading many to consider them special powers that let them predict the future and bring good things in general. Farming was the building block of civilization, having it was a matter of life and death, so it was only natural for those who offered guidance in that field to become leaders. Thank you for telling me this. This place has a rich history, huh? I think I can grow attached to it. I see. This is the first time I've heard such words spoken. Really? It's pretty interesting, though. I never explained this to someone born outside of Fujiyoshi. Oh, right. She refused to go into detail last time. Infiltrating the village really was a good idea, huh? Yeah, like, I'm respected a lot more. Oh, look, we have, uh, we've gone all the way. Here it is. Yeah, we really did go all the way, huh? Sure takes a lot out of you. No, we did not do anything strange. Her speech was still odd, and what the hell was up with her imagination? She could send my verbal curveballs to another dimension. Anyway, there was a wooden house. It was much like the ones near the plaza, except a bit more aged. It looked relatively stable, though. Most of Fujiyoshi is actually the private property of the Higuchi, the Nasato and the Uematsu. Fujiyoshi used to be owned by the Migurama alone, but now that extends uh, to all the current heads serving the Migurama. That was new to me. So you're saying this place belongs to you, Rikako-san? Huh? What? I'm oh, sorry for being so forward with you. No, I do not mind, but yes, this land is mine. I personally lived here until recently. Really? I think that's news. I don't remember hearing that before. So was he passed away or something? Yes, it was a peaceful death. That sounded like a, a real blessing here in Yasumizu. Does that bother you? It's clean inside. Uh, I'd have been lying if I said I wasn't bothered, but I chose to take a look. She hadn't been kidding. The inside was shabby and the wood was aged, but the floor was clean and I couldn't see much dust. Uh, the tatami was new, though, uh, too, though uh, that meant it had to be changed. But at least there wasn't some human-shaped mark on the floor. There was no furniture, but I could easily get a futon or something. Uh, what about the bath? I do not think this place uh, receives gas. That's bad. Uh, what can I do with the mist gum? You wish to be able to cleanse? Uh, you merely have to fill that pail with well water and wipe yourself with it. That's enough? Yes, I hear it was rare to bathe in warm water in Fujiyoshi. 
Oh, yeah, because uh, only the water coal can use fire. Yes, that made sense. Anyway, I was now ready. Are you sure I can use this house? Yes, that would make all the daily cleaning worth it. Huh? You clean this place yourself? Yes, because uh, taking in the corruption is one of the Umatsu's roles. Also, keep myself occupied uh, served as a good distraction. Did something bad happen? She fell silent. Sorry, that was insensitive of me. No, it was not that something happened. Uh, I was afraid of what could happen. She looked at the mountain beyond the valley. No, it was the valley itself and the Saranaga Rapids at the bottom. Uh, back to the heads. Do the Migrama still predict the weather and stuff? Part of me thought I might be prying too deeply. During spring and autumn festivals, they ask for abundant harvest, dance for them, and ch chant ritual prayers. I heard this was supposed to be based on what they did in the past. Thankfully, we've had no major droughts or famines. Oh, so in a way, they have a perfect track record. Uh, Yamawaki sama knows this well. Uh, you might wish to ask her. She would be pleased to talk. That seemed true. Oh, sorry for taking up so much of your time, uamatsu san Uh, thank you uh, so much. I'll make it up to you. Huh? I also merely wanted to thank you for your help during my embarrassing accident. Wasn't she basically blaming me here? Lots of things happened already, but I hope we keep getting along, uh, well. If you think I can help, don't be afraid to ask. I wonder if this loop, we're gonna become a lot closer to Uamatsu, and maybe we can figure out why she... Uh, turned into whatever she turned into last time. I, I think that was the corruption getting her, but we never really got that resolved as to, like, what happened there. So maybe we'll find out this time loop. Uh, Fushai sama Oh, and Sama doesn't suit me. Uh, you can be more casual. Uh, you don't have to use such polite speech. Oh? Crap. Uh, fushai I can't. I can't. fushai sama I would like to ask you of the same. Uh, please tell me however you like. Was I actually racing some flags here? Was the game uh, this easy these days? Did she seriously fall in love over a bit of help after a head injury? Was this a soap opera or something? Well, not that I was complaining. Uh, then Rikaka-san. Whoa? No, this was something else. She was just especially vulnerable to men. Okay. As a family head, she was probably either revered from a distance or considered an enemy. Uh, Takumi did the latter. She probably never talked to someone who didn't care about those things. That actually made me feel kind of bad for her. Okay, and let's call each other Umatsu-san and Fus Fusaishi-san. Let's become good friends. Oh, friends. Yes. I'd love that. In a part of the village with no one but us, we exchanged a deep bow. Umatsu-san then returned, and I checked the house for any holes. It seemed fine on that front. No monsters could get inside. That's good. Anyway, I had my place. Now I had to get one for Mamiya-san and Hashimoto-san. Oh! We're going to try and keep the reporters alive. I tried to think of a way to encourage them to leave before the mist came. But all the things I could think of seemed unnatural. That m meant my only option was the opposite, convincing them there was no way to leave so they'd have to stay. Honestly, I did consider just letting them die. As long as I survived, I didn't really care if they did. But that didn't sit right with me. I wasn't a good guy, but not doing whatever I could right now seemed careless. My ultimate goal was to escape the loops, but at the moment, all I could really do was prevent the tragedy before me. And at least... So, even though me as a player, I don't know that the werewolves are going to be the same... Um, Haruaki has to assume that the werewolves are going to be the same. Um, and so, keeping two other good people alive is only more beneficial to you as a good person. Uh, like, as a human and all that. So, I think that makes sense, uh, in a self-serving sort of way. There's literally no reason to just let them die. If you can do something about it. Uh, I'd think of something else if it didn't work out, but for now, I had no reason to abandon my humanity. That was why I returned to the plaza. Uh, it was still really empty, and the two journalists were probably working. This was my chance. I approached the left back wheel on Hashimoto's cheese van. Reaching into my bag, I pulled out the hammer and nails I'd bought. I placed the tip of a nail against the tire and hammered it in. You could hear the sound of the air leaving. That had to be good enough. I then did the same with the other rear tire, as well as one of the front ones. Wow. There. After that, I added a random array of extra nails around the, uh, those to make it look like a trap or something had been run over in the grass. They couldn't leave now. I already knew they didn't have anything that could fix the tires, and they couldn't get in touch with any road service until after the mist passed. If someone from Kamfujiyoshi came to pick them up and they left without their car, that would have been fine too. Not that I expected anyone to come. Now I just had to convince them that they had to stay here. It was a really haphazard plan. Uh, it seemed like the locals trapped them on purpose. I'd have to think of something to say about that. Anyway, uh, I did what I could uh, for them. Now I just had to wait and... Fusei uh, sama Whoa, whoa, whoa. My heart almost burst out of my chest. Uh, what's the matter, Rikaku-san? Oh, that name again. Uh, I'm sorry, what's wrong, Umatsu-san? I'm hungry, so I can't eat. Uh, that, huh? Well, I was pretty hungry myself, too. Wait, uh, there was something more important to worry about. Has she seen me? Uh, this is a large car. It is. What the hell was up with this pressure? 
Was it some Kung Fu Yoshi had superpower? Was she waiting for me to confess or something? I had no choice but to think of a new lie. Uh, but looking at her red eyes made me feel like she'd seen through any bullshit I spun. Crap, maybe I should just come clean and... I'm hungry. Was she actually not thinking anything? Um, what do you think I was doing here? Huh? Searching for wood lice? Did she think I was as old as Mako? No, look here, it's flat. Oh dear. See, it's got this inside. So long and thick. And how uh, deep this is. Oh dear, how forceful. Whoa, stop doing that! Oh my gosh, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm enemies with you. I'm enemies with you. You need to stop popping up on my screen and yelling at me. <laughs> the brown haired man is taking you a month to in broad daylight. All right, you get this, you, you, you get this one time. I want to see what you sound like when you are like freaking out. Cause it's probably really funny. Um, all right. All right. Well, let me see the log. Go ahead. What do you sound like? <laughs> okay, she is <laughs> absolutely going crazy. All right, uh, you are now being silenced. Thank you for your contribution to freaking me out and giving me nightmares. I swear, you jumping up in my face is going to keep me up at night. <laughs> Man, what the hell is with her appearance this time around? Okay, yeah, I couldn't lie. This conversation was pretty messed up. That's an outrageous misunderstanding. I will call for the journalist. What? You ought to be kidding me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I need some time to recover from Ty trying to give me a heart attack. Um, and I think this whole conversation about whether we can get them to stay is going to be a long one. So I'm actually going to save it for the next episode. So hopefully you are enjoying and looking forward to more. I know I am, but I will see you all on the next time. So till then, peace out.